these top five free AI tools are going to take your content creation to the next level. You can create things like image to video, text to video and generative AI talking avatars. The first tool is called Pika. It is a newly launched tool which is right now open to public. So you can access it by going to the Discord server. The link to this is in the description. So once you're on the Discord server, you just need to type slash slash create and write in a simple prompt. As you can see, these are the simple prompts and these are the results some of the creators are getting on here. Right now the limit of the video is just 3 seconds. You can also add your own image by clicking on this plus one button and then clicking on image. Then you can just select any image from your PC or laptop and then write a prompt. So I uploaded this image and I've written people walking in the street, busy street and then click on enter two times. This is the final result of our video. Isn't it creative? You can do a lot of prompting and change the results. You can add things like aspect ratio. You can add things like motion. As you can see, some of the creators have used prompts like motion. So if you want to give camera a movement, you can write slash motion. So something like this can be used to give your images and videos some motion. You can also add anything random. So let's type in slash create thought of a ghost cabin. The shadow is watching from behind the door. Intense scary scene aspect ratio. And this is something that I've written to give my video some motion. Now I'm going to click on enter. This is the final shot and it looks pretty good. I can click on this regenerate button in order to generate multiple shots of the same story and create a short film. The next tool is called Instaverse from Blockade Labs. It enables you to convert your 2D images into a 3D scene. So visit Instaverse and right here you'll have two options. Click on 2D to 3D mode. Now just click on 2D texture and upload the image which you want to convert into a 3D scene. I want to convert. Let's convert this image. Now go to Leapix. This is one of the other useful tools. So go to Leapix and upload that same image into Leapix in order to generate the depth map of the image. Now Leapix has some good features to generate some good animations. So right here you have a lot of features like styles of animations. So right now there is a movement. You can change the movement, wide circle, circle. You can increase the amount of motion by clicking on regular or more. But this is already covered in my previous videos. Right now we are just going to generate the depth map. Just make sure the edge dilation is set to zero and then click on share and then click on depth map and save. Once you have saved the depth map, go to Instaverse and go to 2D to 3D animation and upload that same image once again because for some reason it vanished. So this is the image. And this is the depth map that I just downloaded. Now, once you've done all that, look at all these settings right here. So you can move the camera by clicking on W. So just click on the screen once and then start clicking. Click on W and if you click on S, the camera will go back. If you click on E, the camera will go up. If you click on Q, the camera will go down. If you click on R, the camera will reset. So in this way you can generate and in this way you can create an animation using this tool and then you can set a screen recorder in order to record this. Now in order to escape this just click on escape and then increase the size of this increase the speed of the animation. Now if we click on the screen and if we move as you can see the speed has increased. This is uh, one animation style that you can generate from this. The next tool is called Sad Talker on Hugging Face. So this is an alternative to DID and HeyGen as DID has no free subscription. 
and no free trial right now and heygen also gives you only one credit this is a free alternative to give your images some talking animation so visit hugging face the link to all these tools are in the description and then you can double click and choose an image to upload and then right here you can upload your audio so let me refresh the page so just double click and choose an image and then double click right here and choose an audio there are a couple of settings so pose style expression scale you can keep the expression scale to 1.2 and face model resolution increase the resolution and you can you can set the size so if you click on full the image size will come out to be full or if you want to resize it or crop it and you can set the batch size in generation still mode so you can click this also usually it is very busy so you may have to wait for a long time to generate one video you can also duplicate the space if you have enough gpu and your system supports that the next tool is heygen most of the other tools that i'm going to cover in this video are present in heygen itself the first tool is called text to video as you all know and you must have used it before now if you do not have an account go to heygen runway ml website go to runway ml's official website and create a new account once you create a new account you will get around 105 credits you can use them across all these different tools now just click on text to video and this tab will open where you can write any prompt and generate a video now there is a new feature added to runway ml's gen 2 which is the image to video so you can click so you can click on that image section double click and then select an image which you want to convert into a video I want to convert this image into a video. Let's see what kind of an output does it come up with. Let's see if I do not write a prompt, what does it generate? So it has successfully uploaded the image and now I'm going to click on generate. So this is the output. As you can see, it is very random. The clarity and the quality looks better than that of the first software that I showed you. Now let's try something else. Now let's try changing the image. This is the next image and this is the prompt that I've written. It's a very basic prompt. Now let's click on generate. One thing I just noticed was that if you give your image a prompt, it will not pick the original image. Instead, it will generate text to video. So this was the previous result as I gave my image a prompt. I have regenerated the original image let's see what kind of a result does this come up with let's see the final result it's pretty good actually so these were the two tools one is the text to image and the second one is image to image which you can use by coming to runway ml there are a lot of tools that you can explore through and check out and they may be useful for you but one thing that i do not like is that you get limited credits and then you need to buy a paid version of this this was it for the video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with some more ai related content in my next video